Now, we're going to speak to Julia Manchester now. She's a political reporter for The Hill. She joins us. And so President Biden last night echoed former President Obama in framing these midterms as being about protecting democracy. But our new exclusive poll paints a much different picture. Most Americans trust the election. So what is the president trying to accomplish here? Well, I think the president, Mitch, is really trying to go after some of these candidates running in states like Arizona. Gov gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake comes to mind. I'm um, really targeting these candidates and encouraging voters to choose the candidate who will or who has uh, telegraphed that they will accept the results of the 2022 midterm elections and that they did accept the results of the 2020 midterm elections. I mean, there are a number of candidates, Carrie Lake, Doug Mastriano in Pennsylvania running for governor there and some candidates running in down ballot house races as well as in secretary of state races who have signaled that you know it, that they may not accept the results of the 2022 presidential or excuse me midterm elections and that they have really signaled uh, skepticism in the results of the 2020 presidential election so he's very much trying to encourage americans to trust the process and trust the candidate that trusts the process. Now, do we know if Americans will listen when we have other issues happening, such as inflation, rising gas prices? We'll really have to see. But I thought it was interesting that in the, the a midterm that is a referendum on his first term in office, President Biden is very much sort of campaigning on what he campaigned on in 2019 and 2020. So uh, you mentioned 2020. It's hard to mention 2020 and not bring up Donald Trump. Is this more about campaigning against Donald Trump, even though he's not the one on the ballot this year? You know, I think two things can be the same in this instance. So Donald Trump isn't on the ballot, but Donald Trump has influenced so many of these candidates like Carrie Lake, like Doug Mastriano, like many of these other candidates that may, um, you know, accept the results of the 2020 election, but still seek Donald Trump's endorsement. So I think this is more of Joe Biden very much going up against or trying to attack these Trump-backed candidates, these very Trumpian candidates who echo a lot of his rhetoric while at the same time sort of teeing himself up against Donald Trump. He's very much trying to create a contrast on this issue of voting and trust in elections. And, and so when it comes to the growing legal fights over election security in battleground states, we've got Arizona where a judge actually had to tell armed men that they are not allowed to stand beside ballot boxes with guns. In Wisconsin, meanwhile, a, the Green Bay area, a judge there is allowing GOP poll watchers. So what is the impact of people's perception of the election? We, we mentioned that there are people that are very confident in the results that the election will bring forth. Um, but things like this, election security questions, uh, what impact does that have on this election uh, as we near actual voting day? I think it has a huge impact because I think although a majority of Americans say they are confident in our election systems, if we look at the partisan divide in a lot of this polling between Republicans and Democrats, we know that Republicans and those who support former President Trump are more likely to be skeptical or not trust the process. So, you know, these, this, you know, what we're seeing on the ground in the, a number of these states, whether it's a judge saying, um, you know, poll watchers can be around or can't be around, um, that could very much impact uh, the process because we ne do know that there is something called voter intimidation. It happens, and I think that's a very big concern right now. All right, that is Julia Manchester. She's a national politics reporter with The Hill. Julia, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.